Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If you all are new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Today, we're going to be in the Grosser Kerfurst and we are going to be joined by a division mate also in a Grosser Kerfurst. I'm sure you guys have seen him on the channel before. Failing great. Now, I had this match recorded about um, a few days ago on the weekend, so uh, I got it for you guys today. And uh, as you guys can see, we are on Sleeping Giant, and it is a domination mode. Now, we are in the Gross Scurfers, like I have said, and we're going to have some absolute fun, and it's going to be a fun one. And when I say on Dr. Ghost Games, it's going to be a fun one. I mean, it's going to be a fun one. So grab your popcorn, kick your feet up, and sit back and have a good time. And if you guys like this video, leave it, leave it a like. If you guys want to comment down below your thoughts, feel free. I get back to everybody I can. And subscribe to the channel, but don't subscribe until you watch it all the way through. You guys need to form an opinion before you guys want to subscribe to me. So... Watch the video, and I hope you do enjoy the video. Now, we shot at this Bismarck here, and yeah, we absolutely pound him for 22,000 damage. These 420mm guns are no slouch, and uh, yeah, we absolutely smacked the ever-living crap out of him. Now, uh, as you guys can see here, we are at the Charlie Cap. We are taking the wide way around. We are not pushing straight in, um, and that is how I tend to play this ship, almost like a flanker. I try to get on the very far edge and try to flank around, kind of, but... Uh, yeah, you, as you guys can see here, it doesn't really work out too well. we got to angle in and stuff, so, yeah, because on PC, the maps are a little bit, um, I think the maps are a bit bigger. I think it spawns you back further, and your concealment is a little better, so usually you can set up a lot more better positions on PC, but here on console, you basically spawn almost right in the detectability zone of, a, of the enemy, so... The second you go forward, odds are you're going to be spotted in the first 30 seconds of the match. And that's just how it is, unfortunately. We spawn very close here on Legends. And uh, it is quite unfortunate, but uh, sometimes it works out pretty well. And uh, as you guys will see in this match, it is going to work out pretty darn well. We're up to 36,000 damage. We have a 13 main battery hits, I believe. Lots of damage so far. Well, not lots, but we have some damage. You know, not too bad at all. Now, we hit his bow, and unfortunately, we get four overpens there. Not much we can do about that, but you guys got to remember, the bow on most ships has not a lot of damage there, so usually the shells will go straight clean through and uh, overpenetrate, which is what happened there. Uh, we did manage to also get some defend ribbons, which is even more important than damage. Stopping them from getting the uh, Charlie cap is huge, and that's what we're trying to do here. Now, uh, I think I am, I think, don't count me on this, but I think I'm running auto ciliacs, um, and I have a secondary build on, so I have, uh, I think... Decently long-range secondaries, so uh, yeah, look forward to that. Now we shoot at this Minotaur here, and yeah, we get a Citadel, because as we know, the Minotaur is the Pensacola of Legendary Tier, and there's nothing much he can really do about that at all. His Citadel is literally bigger than God's asshole, so we could just smack the shit out of that and uh, take complete advantage of it, and yeah, that's how you do it. Now, I won't lie to you guys. This, these past couple days here on World of Warships Legends, I've, Legends, I've been having some really hard time, uh, really hard times here, uh, trying to do these freaking challenges. I need a Dreadnought medal, and uh, my god, man, getting a Dreadnought medal has never been this hard in my life, and it sucks because I always get Dreadnoughts when I don't even need one, but now I actually need one for a heroic effort to get the Brandenburg, because um, I'm only three levels away from unlocking the Brandenburg, and the only way I can get it right now is by getting a Dreadnought, and I just haven't gotten a Dreadnought uh, for some fucking reason. So I'm getting very, very, very salty. So uh, I just came back from like a two-hour session of just trying and trying trying to get a Dreadnought, and uh, it just hasn't happened. So I went on to the Italian ships, and I'm starting to grind the uh, 50,000 credit challenge that's in the store um, for the crates and stuff. So, uh, yeah. But a little backstory on what's been happening today. I've been, I've been having some hard, hard times here on this game, but uh, hopefully I can brighten your guys' day and have this match here for you, and that's the goal here. We're up to 97,000 damage. We have a Citadel 4, Defend Ribbons, a bunch of main battery hits, some spots as well. We're down to 22,000 hit points, and uh, we can just keep popping these heals because with our Silly Axe build, we get five heals. That's right, five heals. Now, as you guys can see there, the first four minutes of the match, and look at there. The whole entire enemy team is just completely capitulated. There's not much really they could have done about that, huh? They cannot stop this Grosser Kerfurst push whatsoever. And I think Felon Great made a point the other day. He said, you know, if a Grosser Kerf two Grosser Kerfursts push up and you don't focus them down, it, they're going to fucking steamroll you. And that's true. 
um, they're gonna steamroll the hell out of you, and there's nothing much you can really do about it. I mean, the only way you can stop a Grosser Kerfers that's bow onto you and that's angling well is by either spamming it down with HE, getting superstructure penetrations, or torpedoing it. And they don't have any really torpedo threats, and a majority of their ships are pretty much dead, so... Yeah, there's just nothing the enemy can do about this push at all. And we're just going to completely take advantage of it and absolutely roll these guys over and just absolutely crap on them. And there's nothing much they really could do about it. Now, as you guys can see here, I am turning towards the middle of the cap or towards the middle of the map because I'm trying to angle to the Yamato. I'm trying to not get hit by his 18 inch guns. He's been shooting at me, I believe, and I want to try to get my icebreaker towards him and just try to avoid as much AP salvos as possible and hopefully bounce some shells um, from anybody in the center of the map while I'm shooting at this gro gross occur first. So yeah, now we're almost coming to the end of the video and if you guys have made it this far, hey, go down, leave a like and comment down below your thoughts so far. You know, good match so far? Yeah, I think so. And uh, when you get to the end of the video, if you like the whole entire video, hey, it doesn't hurt to subscribe here to Dr. Ghost Games because the content we make here is... You know, I, I, well, not we, but I try to make here is, you know, to the best of my ability. And I try to entertain as many people as possible. I try to send as much positivity throughout this community here. And, uh, yeah, we're almost to 400 subscribers. So you guys could actually become, or you guys could take part in this little journey that we're, uh, that we have embarked on the past year. And, uh, get us closer and closer to our next milestone. But uh, anyway, enough talking about that. We gotta focus on the match. There's three ships left. And uh, they're actually fighting it. They're not giving up. I have to give it to them. They're not giving up. Um, now, we got double fired, unfortunately, from the GK. Because, you know, GK HE is pretty darn good. And nothing much we could really do about that. We're up to 149,000. Thousand damage. Beautiful stuff. We're taking shots at that gross occur first again. And, uh, unfortunately, I, I just, I'd never understand that. How do you get overpens on a broadside battleship? Jesus. It just... It mind blows me sometimes, but uh, yeah, 12 seconds. We'll have our um, we'll have our guns reloaded again. I think our front guns reloaded, and we'll be able to pop this GK again. And that's the goal. I mean, battleships, guys. The way to play them is angle your armor and keep getting your shots off. Do the dreadnought shuffle, etc. You know, get yourself into a decent position. Don't be rushing in the center of a map. You know, try to try to play it smart. You know, battleships are the easiest class to play, easiest class to play and master. But uh, you guys still have to be smart with them. You can't just be all willy-nilly rushing in the middle of the map and going broadside everybody. You guys got to be careful. Use island cover, etc. It's just, you know, that's how I play these ships. You know, especially armor and angling. Guys got to be keeping that bow armor to people. The only time you should ever get your back guns off is um, when you absolutely need to. Um, otherwise, um, you know, try to limit the amount of times you go broadside, basically, in your battleships, you know. But, uh, yeah, we're coming to the end of the match. We're up to 187,000 damage. We got a high-caliber medal just now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all did enjoy this one. It's been fun so far. And, uh, yeah. Man, I'm telling you, the GK for me has been quite interesting these past few days. Um, the gross curve, not just past few days, but the past couple months, really. The GK has just been pretty strong. Um, because it seems like no matter what I play, I get focused anyway, so GK seems to work pretty well for me, and the armor on the GK is absolutely beasty. And uh, if a Yamato hits you in a certain part of the bow, he can actually shatter and ricochet. The GK's bow armor is very, very strong, and the deck armor too, the belt armor, all of it. It's got very strong armor, and it, of course, has turtle back armor. So, I mean, GK is just an absolute unit. It's an absolute turtle. This thing can take hit after hit after hit. And that's what I just love about this ship. And, of course, the secondaries are pretty good. Not as good as, like, Bismarck or or uh, Brandenburg. But uh, they're still there. They're Germans and they're German secondaries. And they do pretty well. But, uh, yeah, we're trying to capture this middle cap here. And uh, the match is coming to an end. We, unfortunately, don't even have a kill. Um, that's unfortunate. But uh, maybe we'll get a kill here on the Stalingrad. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Beautiful match. I mean, nothing else really to say. I hope you all did enjoy it. So, uh all we got to do here is take out this Stalingrad, and the match will be over. So we're waiting, we're waiting for our shot, and we do take a shot at him, full salvo, and uh, we don't even aim there, and unfortunately we don't get him, but our team gets him. Good job, team! Fantastic work, everybody. Thank you, feeling great, for uh, being there to support me, of course. And uh, yeah, look at that. You guys could just read it for yourself there, and uh, of course the team result. I was top. And Phelan Gray had four kills, almost a Kraken. Great job, Phelan. And uh, yeah, I hope you all did enjoy. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, stay healthy as always, and take care out there.